you are watching a move of God here. My son went to be, to went home, but he didn't take anything with him. So begin to speak in tongues for a minute. Speak in tongues. 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 Reverend Catherine, I just want to say it's an honor to stand in your presence right now and just to be able to minister to you. And just like family, not just friends, but family, are surrounding you right now in this season, so is all of heaven. And I saw the Spirit of God like wrapping you in a cocoon, in a blanket, for a season where you were safe. And it was okay to be vulnerable and to experience every emotion of sorrow and loss. And I heard the Lord say, not only was I going to protect you in this season, but I'm going to protect the work. For I will stand over it and watch over it. And the enemy will not take advantage of your vulnerable time, but I will protect it, saith the Spirit of God. And I will bring you forth in another season. And I will speak to you in that moment, revelation yes. for what is next, yes. for your life, mm -hmm. for your ministry, mm -hmm. and for the house of God. Mm -hmm. But in this day, saith the Lord, I come to comfort you. Mm -hmm. I come to protect you. Mm -hmm. And I feel God's jealousy towards you right now. Your life is literally like a representation of the bride of Christ. And Jesus is here saying, I'm watching over my bride. I'm watching over my woman. I'm watching over my lady. I would also say it's a great honor and a great privilege to pray for you today. As we stand in the presence of God, the spirit of comfort's coming upon you right there. And I heard the Lord tell me to tell you, as you lay awake at night and say, how am I going to do this? How am I ever going to do this? And I see you lay there on your pillow just praying, Lord, how can I get this done? How can I carry so much? And I heard the Lord tell me to tell you, all was prepared in advance. In terms of grace, in terms of resource, in terms of love. There is resource upon resource set aside for this hour. The man of God that led you, your husband, served well, and he prepared well, and he built well, and the well-built house shall sustain under the power of God, and you shall know what to do in the moments you need to know it. The provision is intact. The security is there. It was all laid up, and now you can rest in the provision of God and in the wisdom the house was built by. Yes. Yes. And the spirit of comfort will become so close to you that someday you will write a book yeah. and you will talk about how God comforted you yes. in the time of the most terrible sorrow. <laughs> Journal pages that you will write from time to time will become the pages of a book to comfort the hearts of many to the point that you will speak on the subject of loss and pain, mm -hmm. and will have authority mm -hmm. to walk into the nation and minister healing and love mm -hmm. to people mm -hmm. that are broken mm -hmm. under this pain. Jesus. Now God is saying unto you that the mantle did not go with Alan to heaven. But it is sitting upon you and your household. And you, and you will see that the vision and the dream and you and him carried together, it will now come upon your sons and your daughters. And God is going to raise up successors around you. And as this prophet was prophesying, I saw a new wave of glory coming upon your house. Woman of God. I saw you 
moving into the grace of your mother. She started out by signs and wonders and miracles until the whole city stood still. I'm here to prophesy to you that you are going to step into that season. When you are done crying, mm. you will arise and the glory and the power will start moving through you, but not only you, mm. but every son and daughter of this house. I see an anointing taking this grace to the four corners yes. of the world. I see, I see your church going not to 10,000, but to 20,000. I see God bringing honor and glory to your life, but also to the legacy. This is not the end. This is, in matter of fact, the beginning. This is the beginning. Even, listen carefully now, even the building you decided to build, it will be done. It will be finished. Listen carefully. It will be done debt free. God is about to give you the honor you just felt you lost. You said, why didn't my faith not? Why could I not? And God said, you should not. He says, you should not. He says, I will. He says, I will. He says, I will. You will arise. And your voice and your face will come on television. It will come on media platforms. And you're going to start preaching and prophesying and demonstrating. Listen carefully, woman of God. Your husband was not a preacher. He was the message. I'm prophesying to you that that grace comes on you now. That all your sons and daughters, they will never again preach a message. They will become the message. They will become the demonstration. And I declare unto you that everything Apostle Alan declared, everything will double upon you in the name of Jesus. I just saw, I don't know what this means to you, but I just saw that there was an inheritance of this generation we are prophesied about today, and that is in the heart of your calling and your ministry, the young people, the young generation, and you are going to be an arrow and a spear right into that generation. The Lord has given it to you in the name of Jesus. Robert, pray for Shiko. Pray for, for Jeremy. Just, just open your mouth and just say a prayer. Just begin to bless her. This family has been such a blessing. Pastor Kathy also got saved in this ministry. Come on, just open your mouth and begin. Weeping endures for a night, but joy comes in the morning. After the weeping, we know the joy is about to hit. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Rabba Shetere Bakasalara.